Yo, what's happening everybody? King GBL here, and welcome back to our brand new Gobelic video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a very, very strong team in the Psychic Cup. This team gained me around 200 ELO today on the very first day of Psychic Cup, and I highly recommend checking this team out. The team consists of Victini, Double Slow, Slow Bro, Slow King, both Galarian of course. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play this team. We're going to be showing a lot of different matchups, and basically ways that you can play around this team to uh, gain as much ELO as possible, and of course have some success in this cup. Now the thinking behind this team here is that Gardevoir is going to be everywhere and I do not want to have to swap out of Gardevoir. Gardevoir got buffed with Triple Axel and all three of my Pokemon beat Gardevoir. I decided I don't really want to get RPS by Gardevoir today so we're just going to run Triple Strong to it and it worked extremely well. We went 19 out of 25, highly recommend this team and like I said, uh, stay tuned to check out all of the different matchups. I've included leads from pretty much every matchup that you would normally see so you should be able to learn a lot about this team today and um, I think this is a very very strong team. As you can see we simul swap and in comes the Gardevoir. By the way guys if you do enjoy these types of videos drop a like, subscribe as well, it's absolutely free and I very much appreciate it. And today is a longer video uh, so do let me know if you do enjoy the uh, longer videos. And let me know this week are you going to be playing Psycho Cup as I'm going to call it, uh, shout out to Moses in the discord for coining it uh, Psycho Cup. Or are you going to be playing MasterCard League? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, i got to tell you, man, the amount of Gardevoirs I've seen in these first couple of sets was pretty insane. There were so many teams that were running double fairy, and of course, this just completely destroys that team. All three Pokemon beat Gardevoir, and all three beat Rapidash. Now, you're going to say to me here, why not just swap straight out into one of your poison types? You can easily get a shield off this thing. Um, the opponent CMPs me here on 7, but of a mistake on my part, I'm going to let it go. We can live a Megahorn. Megahorn coming through. <laughs> uh, it's pretty risky to let that go, because it can be high horsepower. I highly recommend if you're going to use Rapidash, you have to use High Horsepower. Slowbro, Slow King, and all of the Steel type Pokemon will get one shot by High Horsepower, so I highly recommend doing that. In comes Malamar. Malamar is about the trickiest Pokemon for this team. Technically, it is a win for Victini. Definitely a little bit tricky with the neutral uh, Psycho Cuts here, and of course, super effective foul plays. As you can see, we can whittle this down pretty, pretty heavily. Um, with Malamar, it can live any one move from any uh, Pokemon on my team. So you just really have to try and chip it down, but as you can see, we've got a shield advantage from the early game, just by uh, going for V-Create, right? Back in comes this thing, which makes me think that they're probably super weak to this in the back. They may have a Gardevoir, this could be like an ABA fairy line. I come in with Victini, because I'm pretty close to a move, to draw out whatever's in the back, and in comes a Bronzong. Now this V-Create won't quite one-shot this thing, but they do shield it up anyway. And now we're in a position where we have two shields, and we've got Galarian Slow King. Generally speaking, the strategy I was going for was shield advantage Slow King, or uh, shield advantage uh, slows, right? If you can get a 2-1 shield scenario with these two in the back, you're perfectly fine to basically beat anything in the meta. Um, as you can see, we form up to 100 energy, and which will give us a Surf and a Shadow Ball. Boom, that'll take out the uh, Bronzong, and this'll take out the Rapidash. Good games well played. So on this team, Victini really is there to absorb the first move and win the zeros against most things. With Victini, you're going to see in a lot of these matchups. There's a specific way I like to play it. Now, in comes Gardevoir. The opponent is most likely going to swap out. They come into Slow King. Now, we don't really have a good answer to Slow King, and Slow King beats Slow Bro, right? So what I want to do is go for the V-Create, and then go into my own Slowbro. We'll grab a Shield Advantage, and then we'll look to try and sweep from here. Now the opponent could either go for a bait, they go for the Shadow Ball straight away. As you can see, we can live this move, and all I need to do is go for Shadow Ball myself, which will basically one-shot them from here, and we should be in a good position here. The opponent double shields, and at this point, what I need to do, just completely wait down my timer, come back in with Victini, and just go for a V-Create, and that should take care of it. By the time they throw the Surf, and by the time I throw my V-Create, the uh, Switch Timer should be back up again, and we'll be able to clear our debuff. I do go for a bit of an overfarm here, um, which is a little bit greedy, I think. But uh, now that I've overfarmed, I can overfarm a little bit more here and get up to almost back to back. They come in with Malamar, and this is actually looking quite decent at this point now. I can basically look to throw another V create, look to get rid of Malamar, and at this stage, Glorian Slow Bro can actually sweep this game because the opponent has a Gardevoir in the front, and they're not going to like to see this. You can basically farm this thing the entire way down, and yeah, that's just good games to the opponent. And um, we've got a Surf loaded. The opponent comes back in with Slow King. They don't have a move. And the Surf should come very close to taking out. Yeah, of course, from this range it will KO. Good game's well played. And uh, let's hop into the next one. Victini versus Slow King. Very negative lead. Um, so what we're going to do is probably throw in bad timing here. Just to get off the move. Actually, no, I'm going for the over farm this time. Um, they actually need a Shadow Ball to one shot. So if they go straight for Surf, you can live it. I farmed up to 7 there. And we come into our own Slow King. Now, I can live a Shadow Ball here. And I'm thinking the opponent may try to beat because they're up a shield. Or they're down a shield, right? They go for the Surf. Big mistake by the opponent, we'll go for the Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, I've got amazing IVs on this Pokemon from the Community Day, and I do lose CMP almost always. So if you have a more attack weighted Slow King, I think it's probably more favourable. Likewise with Malamar and any Pokemon in a limited meta. Now the opponent's going to actually stay in here for a minute. I'm going to go for a Surf, because I think it's enough to KO at this range, or it'll be super close at least. The opponent goes for Surf, and I'm thinking if this doesn't quite KO, I'll probably come in with my Galarian Slowbro. 
or one of my other Pokemon and just try to farm it down. Yeah, we come in with Victini, the opponent swaps out, and in comes Bruxish. Bruxish is one of the trickiest Pokemon for this team, because of course, bite, 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 bite. I throw the move immediately here, just to make sure they don't get as much farm, and I think I'll look to come in with Slowking to try and absorb the damage, or maybe I go for a, yeah, I go for an energy lead here. Um, They cannot one-shot me with any single move, so I'm thinking, get an energy lead here, and look to basically farm this the whole way down, and we'll have uh, a move ready. We are debuffed though, and in comes Gardevoir. This is going to absolutely chunk the Gardevoir. However, we're debuffed and this is getting close. Can I get swapped out in time? I do swap out into Slow King. Can we farm this down? It's getting close. The opponent swaps in for the catch and we get the Surf off. That's a good game well played. A very, very close match. And you're seeing how broken Gardevoir is. It is chunking the Slow King. It is absolutely chunking it. Slow King is a much better Pokemon than Slowbro in this meta. However, Slowbro just completely deletes the fairies, right? Victini versus Victini. This is a very important matchup that you're going to see quite a lot. You farm up to 100 energy. If you have to farm up to 200 energy before throwing the move, you do it. Do not throw the move first. Of course, you wouldn't want to uh, farm up that much energy because you'll just get one shot. As you can see, we can live any one move here. Now, the thing is, when you farm up to 100 energy with overheat, you have an overheat and um, a V-Create banged, right? So we're going to have to shield here, but we'll have basically a V-Create and a half here ready to go. And we can look to fire this off, get a shield off the opponent or get the knockout. And if they uh, let it go or shield it, we can swap out and get an energy lead with Slowbro. More often than not, I was swapping in Slowbro as a safe swap. However, with fairies in the back, uh, it is a temptation to go to Slow King and just farm something down in the back. Now, we do live anyone move here. I'm going to go for back-to-back -back Surfs because I think that's a little bit more efficient in this situation. Boom, Surf number one coming through. Can we actually... Yeah, we do get off the next move. That is perfect. I think the opponent could have removed. They might have been a little bit off track with energy, but we're getting this pretty, pretty low here. And the amazing thing is, they cannot farm us down with Psycho Cut. They're going to be forced to throw in Victini here. So that's what we're going to do. Come in and go for quick attacks. Boom. Uh, Velpi number one coming through. I think they do get to another one. However, we still have a shield left and that hex going through should just about KO. If not, give us one more hex for the uh, remaining Pokemon. In comes Rapidash. We're just going to absolutely YOLO off the Shadow Ball. The opponent actually swapped out, which eliminates any possibility that they can go for a catch. Bit of a mistake by the opponent. They should have let me farm them down and try to go for a catch. I think that would have been a little bit better. The opponent sees the writing on the wall and top lefts. Guys, in this first set, man, I woke up um, I think I was playing the set at 5.30am, as you can see it was still dark and now it's starting to get bright. Um, so I was half asleep and I was getting a 5.0 as soon as I woke up today, which is great. Now in this matchup here, I like to let the first move go. You can live this first move easily. Boom. Easy live, right? And you need to throw the V-Creates back to back. Um, if you over farm by one, you should be able to outpace to two moves. The opponent goes for the catch and Claydol. And Claydol's a bit of a tricky Pokemon for this team. However, with Surf on both of the bros, or both of the slows, we can look to take this thing out. We've already got a shield off the opponent. So we're in a pretty good position here. We're going to throw this move instantly, insta throwing Andy. And that almost takes him out. We can farm it the whole way down though. And come out with energy and a shield advantage for the middle game. Now, since I've got a little bit of energy and I've got an extra shield, I'm happy to invest it here. Shadow Ball doesn't one shot from full health. But from this range, it'll come super close to taking them out. And at this point, I think we can just outpace this thing right here. Um, I'm tempted to actually shield this up twice. Because I kind of need to apply some damage. But I do decide to let this one go. I like to trust in... Uh, a combination of Victini and Slowbro. I come in with Victini to try and eat the damage. Um, I could shield this up and get off the move. And I think that's what I'm going to look to do here. We get off the Vicarate. The opponent goes for a nice catch on Slow King. And this is looking super tricky now at this point. We'll come in with our Slowbro. Again, they don't quite one-shot us. And we do get to the Surf just in time. Now, will this actually take them out from this range? It's going to be pretty close. It does actually KO. And that puts us in a much better position. Because once again, guys, they do not one-shot us with foul play. Malamar can't really one-shot a lot of things. Which is kind of the bad thing about it. We get to the surf at the very last second. And that's going to be good games well played. Super close match. And well played to the opponent. I actually was quite surprised to see so many Malamars. Because Gardevoir is just absolutely rampant in this cop. I've seen a ton of uh, Gardevoir. So I'm thinking these opponents might be struggling a little bit. Now in this situation here. I'm going to go for a V-Create and dip against Slowbro. I think this is probably about the best way to play it. Apply heavy damage. Get a shield. And we'll come into our own Slowbro. Slow King like I said beats this Pokemon. And they're throwing a move here. Which I'm perfectly happy with. Now... This Pokemon can learn Psychic, which is a pretty interesting one. They come in with their own Slow King. So they've got a Slow Bro lead with Slow King on the swap. I wonder what could be in the back here. It's very interesting. We're going to get back to back Surfs off before the opponent gets to a Shadow Ball. And we look to be in a really good position now. The opponent can go for a Surf, which will take us out. But at this point, we're in a very, very dominant position. And uh, we can look to, yep, eat the Shadow Ball. Uh, we still have two shields, right? We can come in with our own Slow King and just farm up a bunch of energy. I think I actually throw instantly just to get rid of them. And now we've got Slow King with two shields against the rest of the team. This is just a game over for the opponent. Uh, in comes Gardevoir. Gardevoir, my boy. You're not going to have a good time. 
We're going to farm all the way up to 100 energy and just look to YOLO off the Shadow Ball. Not quite 100 energy, but definitely enough to uh, get the job done here. We still have two shields and yeah, this is good games. Um, we're going to go for the Shadow Ball on the slow bro just to make sure to take it out and um, that's a very good game well played to the opponent. Guys, like I said, man, this team is extremely strong and I think the way I was playing it was perfect. Um, you know, trying to get the shield advantage or heavy damage with Victini and just trying to basically use it like the Ox, right? Like Psycho Boost and Dip. You go for the V Create and Dip quite a lot. It works super well. Now, once again, we have a Victini Mirror Match. You're going to see this so often. Once again, we're not going to throw first. Um, you can basically farm up to two and a half V Creates, right? So that's 100 energy right there. I'm farming over 100 energy. I can live a V Create. I can live any one move. Overheat coming through, fine. We've got two and a half V Creates. Now, the opponent has a V Create. So what I can either do is CMP them on the next move or swap out. They actually let it go and they go for the over farm. So the opponent definitely could have got off a move there. Um, with a little bit of a mistake by them, right? But we've got a shield advantage. Victini is down, which may come to cost us because Victini is very useful in the end game, getting off a last second move. They go for overheat, which of course is debuffed because of course they uh, debuff themselves. I come into Slow King because I think this is a better match for Slow King. Um, the opponent's going to get off a move. It is going to be a foul play. We're up a shield here, so I'm happy enough just to basically go for uh, Shadow Balls. They get off a second move, and this is starting to look a little bit tricky, but I think I can make it to two Shadow Balls here. We've thrown good timing. Uh, one Hex versus their two Psycho Cuts, right? Three into four. Boom. Shadow Ball coming through. As you can see, it doesn't quite one-shot. Can we farm it down? I got a little bit greedy. I should have went for the Surf straight away. Yeah, Foul Play coming through. It doesn't KO, but it puts us in, it puts us in a really bad position. Um, I was thinking, okay, let's try to farm it down, but it just wasn't going to happen. In comes <laughs> Rapidash, and we actually go straight for the Surf here. Now, the opponent needs to go for a high horsepower to KO here. Actually, no, they don't, because, of course, we're super low. In general, low, they would have needed a high horsepower. And to be honest with you, the only reason I lost this game is because I got a little bit greedy with the over farm. They come in with Victini and go for the snipe, which is perfectly fine at this point. And yeah, definitely could have won that match. Got a little bit greedy with the uh, over farm. Victini versus Malamar. Again, what I like to do is farm up to 10 before throwing. They'll throw their foul play here. Boom. Um, they actually do win CMP on you, by the way, as well. Okay, so they're throwing a foul play. Gonna let the first move go. And we're gonna look to basically YOLO off it creates here. The opponent sees what's about to happen and they go for a catch on Claydol, which is quite an interesting way to go here. We're super low and we need to get out of here before Mudslap start coming through, right? So we come into Slowbro. We don't have a great answer to this Pokemon in general. So we're gonna start firing off Surfs. Um, about two Surfs and Poison Jabs will get this pretty much uh, into KO range. Um, yep, we actually do have PSD opponent here as well. It takes them, I believe, seven Mudslaps to get to a Scorching Sands, which is the newly buff move. They're gonna commit to the farm down. However, all of this energy is not really gonna go anywhere. I'm going to go straight for a V-Create, which would of course win CMP and get the knockout here. So boom, V-Create coming through. And at this point, we've got Galarian Slow King with two shields. And Galarian Slow King with two shields beats basically any two Pokemon in this entire league, right? In comes Slowbro. We're going to farm up to the Shadow Ball. Um, I can actually just let a Surf go here because like a, a foul play from a Malamar would do a lot more uh, damage, right? Surf coming through. We don't really want to eat another Surf. The opponent comes into Malamar and fires off a foul play. These are the moves we want to shield. These are the KO moves, right? We're going to farm up a little bit extra here. Throw after one, and we're almost in back to back Shadow Balls. At this point, Shadow Ball number one coming through. Boom. Doesn't quite take out the Malamore, and I decide I'm going to farm it the whole way down here. And at this point, we'll have a Shadow Ball for the Slowbro. The opponent just went for a Surf and Slowbro, so this should be pretty dry here. So this is very, very safe. Uh, Shadow Ball coming through. This is going to one shot them, and that's good games well played. Uh, I hope you guys did get these Pokemon from Community Days, because these are very, very strong Pokemon in this meta. And um, I know some of you might not have these Pokemon because they never really seemed like decent Pokemon. And we actually go free two in that set right there. We had two five O's and three free twos, which is very good. Now we're seeing a Bruxish lead. This is, like I said, the trickiest Pokemon. What I decide to do in this situation is go for a V Create and dip. Now you can actually farm the whole way up to 10 and uh, look to fire off two V Creates, which of course would take them out. However, I decide on this occasion, I'm just kind of testing this matchup out. That's what I decide to do on this occasion. Now they come into their own Glorian Slowbro. So I'm thinking maybe it's Bruxish, Bruxish, double bro, or sorry, double slow, should I say. I really need to get off the surf and the opponent lets us get to it. They could have surfed us out of here, but I think the opponent's committing to a farm down. And I'm perfectly happy with this because they're going to be super, super low at this point. They've eaten two surfs and they farmed us the whole way down. But like, I've got two Pokemon that I can just basically farm them down with, come out with energy and be in a really good position. I do not have to shield a surf off this or a sludge bomb. Of course, sludge bomb would be resisted. They go straight for surf, thinking that Victini might come back in. And of course, they would throw surf against Sloking anyway. Two surfs coming through. However, that was a huge mistake on my part. It, you know, in hindsight, they have a Gardevoir in the back. Whenever you're against these fast move pressure teams, you really want to start shielding things. Um, I don't think I'm getting to back to back, so I do throw here a little bit early, unfortunately. I, I wasn't really going to get to the back to back moves. That last charm will KO. They come in with Bruxish. Bite, 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 all the way down. And we die with two shields. So you can learn a lesson from that match. Um, with these Bruxish teams, you just shield up stuff, right? Now, I'm going to try and play this the same way. I'm going to get off two V-Creates. 
uh, before they go for a crunch or a surf or anything. Uh, sorry, it's Aqua Tail that, uh, that, this, that this thing has. I go for a swap out and they meet us here with a Malamar. A little bit tricky, but we do have pace to this first Shadow Ball at this point because we got a Hex Broom. And the opponent, uh, like I said, cannot one shot us. We cannot one shot them either. However, one Surf and one Shadow Ball with KO. And I've got them in a range where I can start out pacing them now with Surfs, right? So Surf coming through. This is going to look to take out the Malamar. We'll see what the opponent wants to do. These are like the two trickiest Pokemon for my team. They get to it at the very last second of 1 HP. I'm going to shield this up because I learned my lesson from last game. Against these Bruxish teams, you want to shield up, right? They've got a move stored. If this is crunch, it will KO. The opponent is on crunch. Boom. Pretty uh, pretty unfortunate, but we're going to see what's in the back. Hopefully it's a Gardevoir. The opponent comes in with a Rapidash. We actually have a chance of winning this game here. I go for the catch. The opponent predicts the catch. They actually paused. Um, so good play by the opponent. We're going to get off a V-Create, which will get a shield off the opponent. And we're going to look to get off another one. So all we need to do is basically live any one move that they throw and CMP on the Surf and we should win this game. However, as I told you before, you should be running high horsepower on this. And the opponent goes for Megahorn. If the opponent was running high horsepower, they would have won this game. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's confused, but he's firing off a Surf and we're pretty happy with that. Good games well played to the opponent. And like I said, man, just this backline deals with some of the, the top meta in this league, right? These, all three of these Pokemon can deal with Victini, Gardevoir, and Rapidash, which are the three most common Pokemon, most likely. Now, in this Victini match, we're going to play it the same way. I'm going to build up to 100 energy, and we'll see what the opponent wants to throw. Now, some of you might be thinking, like, why not shield the Overheat? If I shield the Overheat, the V-Create KOs, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, I might as well let it go, and at this point, the opponent's forced to shield, or we take Swap, right? We've got two V-Creates coming through, and if they catch a V-Create on a Broxish, or whatever they want to catch it on, I'm perfectly fine with that. They do catch it on Rapidash, of all things, and this Rapidash... It's just about to get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> We're up a shield now at this point, right? And this is just really, really bad for the opponent. I think they didn't even build up to the Megahorn. Oh, maybe they did. They built up to the Megahorn. Now, because they're messing around baiting here, I'm just going to get rid of this Pokemon. If I don't have to eat a Body Slam, I'm not going to do it. Ah, boom. We're in full health with this thing, right? And we're in an amazing position now. We've got a full health Slowbro, full health Slow King, and we have a Victini for a Sack Swap. In comes Malamar. Can we get to this move in time? The opponent does outpace us to the move. However, as I've mentioned, Malamar can't really one shot. Boom, Velpi coming through. And we're going to go for a slight over farm here. Because Poison Jab is so oppressive, and this is such a hard hitting move, you're going to see here that this gets super, super close. Back in comes Victini. We don't get off the surf. I think I should have swapped out a little bit faster there. We come in with our Slow King, and we are going to have to eat a V Create here, which is going to be pretty uncomfortable for us. I just need to pray and hope they don't get to a second move here. We get to the surf just in time. The opponent was very, very close to the second move. And at this point, we should be in a good position. In comes Melamore, and I know that they're forced to throw here. And I know that uh, Quick Attack is going to do more damage than Psycho Cut. So I deliberately set in here, force them to throw. And at this point, it's good game well played. They don't get to a, a final foul play. And yeah, in that situation, we just had to judge uh, which one would go for the better farm down. Now, I think we play this one a little bit differently this time. Let's see how we go. We're going to build all the way up to 10 here. I think it's 20 uh, bites for the Crunch. They really should be throwing Aqua Tail, but Crunch is a very good move in this meta, of course. But you don't often get to it. Now, we actually swap out this time instead of going straight for the move. We'll see what the opponent wants to throw here. The opponent yolos off the crunch and it almost KOs us. And at this point, the opponent's staying in and just bite, 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 bite the whole way down. So this is kind of tricky now. We do have a shield, which is good, but we have a very low health Victini and we have, uh, yeah, a Slow King that's going to get debuffed here. I'm going to respect the move because even a Psychic Fangs would hurt right here. And I don't want to get bite, 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 bite the whole way down. Look, <laughs> look at my, look at my health. I'm super low. In comes Giraffe Rig. So I'm like, bro, they're going to tackle me all the way down. I need to get out of this matchup. Let me get back into Victini ASAP. I'm going to throw off this next Surf here immediately, just so I don't have to take as much damage. And we're going to come into Victini and look to basically YOLO off a of V-Create on the Gardevoir. Now you guys are going to learn something here. A V-Create from full health does not quite take out Gardevoir. And you're going to see that come into play a little bit later. I never realized this fact. In comes this thing and we get this off on 1 HP. But the Gardevoir just about lives a V-Create if you don't have any quick attacks for him. So it is actually possible to undercharge your V-Create and look to get a little bit of extra energy. I think if you undercharge it to like uh, maybe like a greater or a nice, like if you do quick attacks first and then undercharge it to a nice, it'll probably be fine. Now in comes Melamar. We're going to play this the same way. I actually uh, CMP them on 10 here. Also losing CMP is best case scenario here because I know my move's going to come immediately after this move, right? We're going to get V-Create number one off and we hopefully uh, should be able to get V-Create number two. They're going to CMP us and win again. However, they're going to take heavy, heavy damage or give us their final shield and I'm perfectly happy with that. Generally speaking, after getting off the second V-Create, I do swap out and try to keep this Victini alive, even with low health. Yet we come in with Slowbro, get an energy advantage, and in comes Rapidash! The opponent clearly does not have an answer to this Pokemon. What do they possibly have in the back? Hmm. They throw a Body Slam straight away, which is like, sure bro, no problem. And they throw another Body Slam, and at this point I'm just gonna let it go. I know I've got a Slow King with a shield, and that will of course take care of Gardevoir. We actually uh, will be able to farm it the whole way down as well. 
and actually get off a surf and whatever comes back in. Now the opponent, I think I lost track of energy a little bit here, so I just get rid of the Malamar, but I don't think they were getting to a move. But this is just very, very evident that they've got a Gardevoir in the back. In comes Gardevoir. They take us down. They take a small Vic. However, they're not going to be happy for long because Big Slow King's coming through and the opponent sees the writing on the wall. Top lefts. And I seen, like I said, just a ton of Farah Gardevoir, especially in this final set. We went 5-0 in the final set. Now in comes this uh, annoying little Pokemon here. I think I'm going to farm up all the way to 10. They actually throw the move first here, which could be an Aqua Tail. So I decide to respect this move. And at this point, a V-Create comes very, very close to KOing, right? So that puts me in the position where I can snipe something later on with a V-Create and look to come in and just get an energy lead with Slowbro. Again, a Surf's hit basically every Pokemon in this league, and in comes a Rapidash again! Why are these coming in with Rapidashes? Could this be Double Fairy? I just read this writing on the wall, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I actually shouldn't have shielded that first move. Um, I decided to get off a Surf here, because I just know it's Gardevoir in the back, and I want to get shields down, right? I know they'll definitely shield this. Now, I'm not sure if this is quite enough for the High Horse Power, let's have a look. It's just the Body Slam, and at this point we can get the final shield off the opponent, or of course they can trust in Gardevoir. However, if they do, it's going to be trouble for them. In comes Gardevoir, we're absolutely chunking for this thing. We swap into Slowking, and the opponent top left. I honestly had just great satisfaction at making opponents top left with their Gardevoir at the very side of my Poison type in the back. Definitely very, very satisfying, and let's hop into the next one. It is Malamar in the lead. I think Malamar, if you don't have Victini, which everybody should have Victini from research, but this is actually a decent option on this team. Malamar is weak to Charm, and we have two Pokemon strong against Charm, so if you wanted to run Malamar, you could like to do that instead. Um, the opponent comes in, I think, was that Slowbro? It, it's actually a Slowbro with Water Gun. We're going to come in with our Galarian Slowbro, and like to get off a move. Now, I think the opponent farmed up a little bit extra. I'm pretty sure this thing knows Psychic, so I do respect it, and look to get off basically a Surf here at the last second. I don't really want the opponent to get off a Psychic, or even another Surf, which of course would come very close to KOing at this point. And at this point, we've done a Shield, but we do have a decent amount of energy, and they come in with Malamar and throw instantly. Now, I decide to Shield here, because one a Sludge Bomb will actually pretty much KO from this range. So I know that I can at least get off a Sludge Bomb and a Surf here. The opponent lets it go, and I'm super happy with that. We farm it the whole way down now, we've got three Pokemon versus one, and it's Gardevoir. I cannot believe the opponent did not shield that. At this point, we can get off two Surfs, and uh, once again, we're going to show the opponent the Slow King, and that's going to be just game over for them. The opponent is not quite giving up here, and yeah, we just exit the whole way down. Good games to the opponent. Again, like, I was just predicting to see Gardevoir in the back of a lot of these teams, so I was pretty happy investing some shields that you would think are not really great shields, just to make sure that I keep as many Pokemon alive as possible. You're going to see so many fast move pressure teams with Broxish, Gardevoir, you'll see Bronzong teams, uh, Pokemon that are just kind of, you know, at our fast move pressure, are just super bulky. So keeping as many Pokemon alive as possible for those types of Pokemon is definitely a great way to go. Now in this match, the opponent lets us get off two moves. I'm very, very happy with that. We'll come in, we'll get a shield advantage, and the opponent has a little bit of energy. They come in again to Rapidash. What is, <laughs> what is happening here? What is happening? Rapidash is not an answer. They go straight for the Mega Horn as well. And at this point, we can just commit to the farm down. Goodbye, little pony. Little pony just got put back in its box and threw in the bin. And uh, in comes Victini. They go for the CMP tie. And I can just smell blood in the water here. I just smell the absolute stink of Gardevoir in the back. Will the opponent shield this move? <laughs> they do not. What is it in the back? It's actually Melamar. But we still have a ton of energy, so we're in a very good position here. I have absolutely no reason to bait here. Because, of course, the opponent has shields, right? But, like, I've got a lot of Pokemon that can get off moves. We actually get off the V-Create as well. And that all but guarantees victory here. Um, all you need to do at this point is come in with Slow King and basically just eat the move and then come in and farm them down. Um, I think it's an argument to come in with Slow Bro first, because they do insta-throw here. Um, but what I'm thinking here is this one KO, and I can force them to throw their second foul play on this thing, and then basically look to jab it down or hopefully outpace with Slow Bro. It's going to get a little bit close here. The opponent over farmed very, very well, and as you can see, they have another move. But once again, guys, Malamar just doesn't hit very hard, and we do farm it down. In my opinion, Malamar is very overhyped, but this Pokemon is not. Rapidash is super spammy. They actually swap straight out to a Water Gun Bruxish, and what I want to do is basically chip this first. Now, if it's on Water Gun, which it never is really, you probably should just swap straight out, but because it is, I decide to get a huge over farm. Now, this generates energy much faster, so I'm going to respect the crunch. The opponent does go for it, and that's a very, very good shield. Do they get to another move? They just about don't. And in this position, we have a ton of energy, so if Rapidash comes back in, they're just going to get spammed by Surfs and Shadow Balls. They come in with Malamar. Very happy to see this here. Um, like I said, Malamar is a tricky Pokemon for this team. Like I said, I do think it's overhyped. We go straight for the Shadow Ball, and the opponent lets it go. Knowing they basically live any one move, we go for a Surf right here, which of course would get it super, super low. And at this stage, it's looking pretty tough for the opponent. Now, I can actually shield up here, because I'm ahead on energy. I like to get off this last Surf, get the shields off the opponent, and then maybe look to force them to throw on Victini or uh, Galarian Slowbro, and then basically sweep. 
Um, I think we're actually trying to make them throw on Slow King here. That's perfectly fine. And what I may like to do is come in and go for a farm down with Yevictini, yeah, make them throw another move. And at this point, unless they have high horsepower, we should be perfectly fine here. We're going to come in with Slowbro, get an energy head start, and I'm going to throw the Surf immediately here. Um, the opponent just goes straight for a body slam. This is not going to cut it. And now at this point, I do go for a little bit of an overfarm. A little bit unnecessary because the opponent won't really get to a move on Malamar, but I just didn't want them to get off another body slam here. I probably should have overfarmed just to be safe, but that's perfectly fine. Again, the fairy types stand absolutely no shot against the slow boys and Victini. And that's really why I wanted to run this team. I just knew Gardevoir would be everywhere. It's buffed, it's got triple axle, and this team worked extremely well. Victini versus Victini. Again, we know how to play this, right? We're going to farm up to 10. Uh, well, 13. We're going to farm up to 13, which gets you to 100 energy. And yeah, the opponent's going to throw off a move. Like I said, we've overfarmed above 100, but it's better than throwing first. Vicre coming through. So this puts me in an amazing position now. I can shield up once. Um, I can live the first move, right? But they cannot live this first move. That's why you basically wait as long as possible before throwing. It's better to go over 100 energy. The opponent actually lets it go. And I'm going to swap straight out. In comes Rapidash. And the opponent's staying in. I repeat. I repeat. The opponent is staying in the match. What is in the back? They go straight for the Mega Horn, going for the kill shot. It wouldn't have even KO'd. And this is just a body slam. I'm leaving this match in because I just want to show you guys, like, this is just what's happening with this team. The opponent sees the writing on the wall. They see Slowbro and they see the writing on the wall. And that's a good game well played. In this final set, I think, I just seen a ton of Gardevoirs and it was just getting top left. Um, again, like, this is just so bad for the opponent. We have triple answers to this thing. And instead of swapping straight out, I take every advantage possible here. I go for the overfarm. And, uh, like, this is not good. I think you just throw straight away on five. Like, I'm, I'm expecting the opponent to CMP me, right? So I think at the very worst, you throw on six, we get the shield right, we're just, we're just gonna get out of here. The opponent's insta-throwing Andy, throws the move straight away, a body slam coming through that does not threaten any damage, and in comes their own slow bro. Now at this stage guys, we're over-farmed, and that means we can get the two surfs first. We can definitely live a surf, and hopefully that'll put us in a position where we can apply two surfs first. Now can we live the surf from here? It is getting fairly close, so this matchup is pretty, pretty close. Psychic! The opponent's using Psychic! Again, I told you, they can run Psychic which is definitely very, very interesting. I think you do want Sludge Bomb and you do want a Surf on this Pokemon. However, if you didn't play the Community Day, I respect the Psychic, bro. I can't let this go. I was so tempted to call it, but I, to be fair, I wasn't sure if they'd be at back to back Psychics. They did farm quite a lot. The opponent lets it go and we're down a shield, right? In comes Rapidash. I repeat, they're coming into our Slowbro with a Rapidash. Ladies and gents, what do you think might be in the back here? They shield up the Rapidash. I come into Victini, try and get off the move and it's Gardevoir. Ladies and gents, it's Gardevoir. Now, I remembered what happened earlier. But I undercharge this way too much. The opponent's going to get a huge farm here. Now, what I decide to do is just keep farming, keep farming. The opponent's at a Mega Horn uh, on the Rapidash, right? So I need to live this Mega Horn and get off a Surf. That's why I wanted to get the farm down. We live this on 1 HP. Literally 1 HP. I misplayed that slightly. I had the right idea, but I misplayed it slightly. I wanted to leave that in just to show you what the undercharge looks like. If you're ever in that position, like, you need to, in that position, you need to, like, farm it up to at least uh, over great. Because they can survive it either way. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a farm down with Victini to get off the V-Create, or if you want to, of course, get a farm down with a different Pokemon, you definitely over-farm it to at least a Great, and that should leave them in a position where you don't one-shot them, but you can get a farm down. Guys, we uh done very, very well today. 2392. I started off the day on just over 2200, so almost 200 ELO with this team. Highly recommended, and as you can see, we have a pretty good strategy for this team, and it works super, super well. Tons of Gardevoirs. Tons of Galarian Rapidash, and there's no better answer than this team. Um, I think the meta will definitely shift up a little bit, right? So keep an eye on things. Uh, opponents might start running Pokemon that are super effective against the bros. Broxish is definitely the most awkward Pokemon for the bros. So if the bros start ticking up a little bit, you're going to see an uptick in Broxish, which may put Victini and the bros in a bit of an awkward spot. But at that point, you're going to start seeing Gardevoirs taking out uh, Broxishes, and there we have the RPS Cup, folks. Every day is going to be different. But on this first day, this works super well. Highly recommend trying it out. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Catch you all next time.